Hai teman-teman, jumpa lagi dengan saya Santos dan saya Christine. Dalam video kali ini, um, kita akan membahas bagaimana reaksi atau first impression dari Christine waktu dia pertama kali datang ke Indonesia. Jadi jangan kemana-mana, simak terus videonya guys. So, when was your first time come to Indonesia? Uh, 2013. 2013. Mm -hmm. um, which part of Indonesia? Bali. Bali. Um, you know, in Indonesia, we got so many islands. We got like 15,000 more mm -hmm. of islands. Why did you choose Bali? I didn't know a lot about Indonesia or the other islands. I only heard about Bali. You only heard about Bali? Yeah. Okay. Jadi kebanyakan masih orang-orang uh, uh, wisata asing itu tidak tahu kita memiliki banyak uh, pulau ya guys ya di Indonesia. Jadi kita perlu mempromosikan pulau-pulau uh, yang lain lebih uh, keras lagi, lebih giat lagi karena uh, banyak sekali pulau-pulau di Indonesia yang juga indah dan bagus untuk dikunjungi ya. Oke, okay. uh, pertanyaan yang selanjutnya next question is what was the first thing come to your mind after you landing? Um Oh, after I'm landing? Yeah, yeah. Um, the first thing, the first impression of, you know, you were in Bali, right? In Bali airport, right? What mm. was your first impa impression? I was overwhelmed. I was really young. I was uh, yeah. 22? 22, yeah. 22 years old. Um, and I'd never been out of the country before, so I was already feeling a little bit anxious and overwhelmed. Yeah. And then um, when I got off the plane, my friend had already said to me, don't get scared. Um, the police there hold the the guns yeah uh, it's not like in Australia yeah at the airport there yeah so she said don't be scared but when you get off the plane and you see a whole bunch of guys with guns that aren't smiling it's pretty scary so there were a lot of our police in, yeah. in the airport in yeah. Bali yeah oh, the okay. security and police yeah. yeah yeah and then after you left the airport you met the people for the first time Indonesian people what was your first impression of the Indonesian people maybe in the hotel the staff hotel maybe or anyone that outside of the airport Um, they were really friendly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really happy to yeah. see us and really friendly. Yeah. yeah. So your first impression was they were they were very very mm. friendly people. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, and then next one is what do you think of the traffic? It was really bad then actually because even if I think about it now from 2013 to um the last time we were in Bali. Yeah. Um, the there was a lot of roadworks. So even getting from like the airport to to Legian was yeah. it took longer than it needed to. Like it took a very long time mm. to do it. Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing as well was I was really confused about all the beeping. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> jadi kalau di Australia tegas ya kita nggak terlalu bermain uh, apa klakson namanya ya bell di mobil itu ya. Kalau di sini orang main bell itu tandanya mereka marah-marah guys. <laughs> Terus uh, di Bali kita main klakson sering sekali kan ya jadi itu apa ya culture socks eh, pengalaman yang berbeda dari Australia gitu guys terus next question is what was the first Indonesian food you try um, the first Indonesian food I remember eating was ayam goreng I am going. Yeah. Yeah. From the hotel, from the street, or no? We went to uh, Sanur. Sanur. Yeah, for lunch to go to. There's a, a restaurant there called Tootsie's, and it's she's got a fixed price shop um, behind her restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. So we went there to go shopping, but we had lunch first. Okay. Yeah. So I am going was good. <coughs> Bagus. Enak. Enak sekali. Okay. So. What things can be improved? I think the general, um, the general cleanli cleanliness yeah. and like rubbish. Yeah. There's a lot of rubbish. Like the beaches in Indonesia are beautiful, but you can't like you can't swim in the ocean. Yeah. Um, because there's so much, um, so much plastics and stuff like that in the yeah. ocean. Yeah. And I remember because the first the first hotel I stayed at when I was in Bali was the Makua, um, Kuda. So yeah. it 
was right on the beach, like one street away from the beach. So at 6 a.m. every morning, you would wake up to them with big tractors on the yeah. on the beach, cleaning the beach. They're cleaning the rubbish off the beaches, yeah. but it's too late because it's already gone into the water. So I think yeah. the people just needed Need to be to work more... Together. And needed to be more proactive in putting rubbish in rubbish bin instead of just leaving it on the mm. sand or something and then letting it yep. blow into the ocean because by the time it's already in the ocean it's yeah. too late. Yeah. Jadi kesadaran akan uh, pentingnya kebersihan dan buang sampah pada tempatnya uh, itu masih perlu kita perbaiki ya di Indonesia, bukan hanya di Bali aja, di seluruh Indonesia itu menurut saya ya. Karena di sini uh, penduduknya sudah sangat Uh, taat dan uh, sudah rajin sekali ya untuk membuang sampah pada tempatnya itu jadi di setiap rumah itu ada tempat sampah di setiap uh, tempat tempat umum itu disediakan tempat sampah dan untuk membantu uh, mentaatkan penduduknya mereka juga memberikan denda kepada uh, orang-orang yang membuah sampah sembarangan guys Jadi sepertinya itu hal yang perlu kita contoh ya untuk di Indonesia agar supaya tempat-tempat eh, pariwisata atau keseluruhan lah dalam pada umumnya itu bersih gitu loh, lebih bersih kalau bersih kan lebih enak ya oke okay, jadi yang terakhir what things that you find it better than Australia people orangnya <laughs> Uh, the men. <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, the people are very friendly. I think. Um, I remember leaving Bali mm. and coming back to Australia, and just thinking that Australian people, like in Australia, mm. need to smile at each other more. Yeah. Jadi, um, kalau misalnya kalian ketemu bule di Bali atau di Indonesia aja, mungkin mereka lebih uh, lebih friendly ya atau le- uh, tersenyum lebih mereka di uh, negara kita karena mereka dalam liburan ya. Tapi kalau mereka balik lagi ke sini, kita jarang sekali menjumpai mereka itu tersenyum, gitu loh. Uh, entah ini dari uh, masalah budaya atau uh, tuntutan hidup yang keras atau gimana saya nggak tahu ya. What do you think is the problem of people not smiling more here do you think it's the, the life pressure or we just don't give ourselves time to do it i think everyone yeah. is always so time poor and i think we will touch on that on one of our other videos yeah but australians are just so time poor they they just they if they've got something that they need to do they need to do it now they don't have time to stop and say hello yeah 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 They just want like, everything gets done in a, yeah. Yeah, like quickly. Yeah. And they don't have time to be socialized to yeah. others. Just... They don't have the island mentality, right? Yeah, island mentality. <laughs> yeah. Um, jadi itulah bedanya, guys. So, um, after you spend, what, 12 days? 12 days in, in Bali, yeah, for your first time in Indonesia. Mm. What is your whole uh, impression of the country? I loved it. I loved um, Bali itself. I loved the the island life. Yeah. Um, I went back three times that year. So. So after that, you <laughs> went back three times. Yeah. 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 Um, I, but I mean, like any place, there's always things to improve. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always like negative and positive. Yeah. yeah. Like you still miss things at home. Like I. Yeah. Um, I still. I did. I don't think I miss Western food when I was there. Yeah. Um, because I still like you've still got macas and stuff like that. Yeah. Just my overall impression of Bali um, as I was leaving, like I didn't want to leave. I enjoyed myself. I loved the people. Um, I really inv- admired the the culture and the togetherness of of the of the people that I met. Um, everyone was really really friendly, and you know it it made me want to go back. I went back. Yeah. Quite a few times that year. Yeah. Um, Biggest, my biggest issue though was just the number of um, of stray dogs on the street. That, yeah. that really got to me. Um, and I think like even dogs that were pets of people, like just you know not seeing them necessarily looked after. Like it just yeah, it made me sad because I yeah. love dogs so much. Jadi banyaknya anjing liar di sana dan anjing-anjing yang uh, 
uh, tidak terawat gitu loh ya jadi karena di budaya uh, bule itu anjing itu kan seperti keluarga ya guys ya jadi mereka dirawat uh, disayangi uh, dan benar-benar dipelihara dengan baik gitu loh jadi melihat uh, keadaan anjing-anjing yang ada di Indonesia itu khususnya di Bali dia prihatin gitu loh melihat melihatnya gitu ya ya semoga aja uh, keadaan akan menjadi lebih baik oke okay. jadi seperti ini video kita dan kita harap video ini bisa berguna untuk teman-teman di sana dan juga semoga kalian enjoy menonton video ini jangan lupa untuk di share videonya di like di komen dan jangan bosan untuk terus mendukung kita ya guys. Saya Santos. Saya Christine. Salam dari Australia. Terima kasih.